Hello friends, you are watching Engineering Made Easy. I am Lalit Vasist. Today we will learn what is CRO. It stands for Cathode Ray Oscilloscope. Okay. Here we will discuss its uh, block diagram and its working. We will see what is the function of each block here, these all blocks, and uh, the functioning of the CRO as a whole. Okay. So let's uh, start with the applications of CRO. So the CRO can be used for various purposes like uh, to measure the voltage for the measurement of current for measuring phase and frequency of the signal and also for analyzing the waveform of the signal in various ways. So now we will discuss the functioning of this CRO. Before starting let me name the main components of this uh, CRO. This is the vertical amplifier delay line this one is delay line and trigger circuit time based generator horizontal amplifier and this in red is the cathode ray tube crt it is the main uh, part of the cro therefore it is known as the heart of the cro and uh, this these are the two kinds of plates uh, this is the vertical deflection plate uh, used for the deflection of the uh, deflection of the electron beam that passes through it and this is the pair of uh, horizontal deflection plates okay here uh, from here to here it is called the electron beam electron electron beams uh, job is to produce high accelerating electrons okay and uh, this is the filament here is the cathode plate and this in dotted uh, part this is the grid okay these are the accelerating anodes now uh, let's discuss the functioning of this CRO. Actually, we will start this. Uh, we will start the function of uh, the CRO with this cathode ray tube. So the purpose of CRO is it produces high accelerating electron beam, okay, and that passes through this uh, deflection plate system, so horizontal, vertical, and uh, horizontal deflection plate system, and it reaches to this screen, and where it reaches, it pr produces. A luminous spot and by this luminous spot we can analyze the waveform a waveform of this signal that is applied to this vertical amplifier we can see this waveform on the screen so let's understand how this all takes place so first of all look here this is the filament this is heated when we heat it it emits electrons okay and uh, we can use a uh, it in two ways either we can use it as direct cathode or indirect cathode if uh, this uh, filament acts as uh, a cathode directly then we we call it a direct cathode but if we use a cathode plate then this cathode plate this cathode plate works as a cathode instead of this direct filament then in this case we call it as indirect cathode we also have a grid here we apply negative potential to this grid. The job of this grid is to control the number of electrons emitted through this electron gun, through this filament. So whenever we decrease uh, this uh, negative voltage, then the number of emitted electrons will increase. Or you can say in other words, if we increase this negative voltage, then the number of electrons emitted will be reduced. So it controls how many electrons will be emitted through this electron gun there is a small hole in this grid that uh, is used to allow this this gives passage for the electrons to emit and now here we have three accelerating anode plates anode means here we have positive voltage we apply positive voltage to all these three anode plates this is a pair uh, three uh, pairs of anode plates so the main thing here is that these positive voltages are applied in increasing order that is the a1 the voltage uh, the positive voltage on a1 is less than this a2 and a2's voltage is less than a3 this a3 has the highest positive voltage and a1 the anode first anode plate has the lowest uh, positive voltage so the function of this is to accelerate the electron beam that has been emitted from here since it has a positive charge and electron beam has a negative charge so it attracts the electron beam these electrons and it accelerates them because we need high velocity electron beam 
okay so that it can reach to this uh, screen this phosphorus screen which is uh, used to analyze the waveform the waveform will be shown on this screen so we need highly accelerated beam of electrons and this part from here to here is called as the electron gun from here uh, from this uh, filament to this uh, accelerating anode plate system okay and now look at this this electron beam passes through this two kinds of pairs of uh, deflection plates okay and this is the vertical deflection plates these two plates are vertical deflection plates pair and here is the horizontal deflection plate as clear by the name itself that uh, vertical deflection plates are used to move the electron beam in vertical direction and this horizontal deflection plate moves the electron beam in horizontal direction it deflects them in horizontal direction so the purpose of this deflection plate the requirement of this deflection plates is that the signal that we apply the applied on this vertical deflection plate system and uh, the time base here we are getting here on the screen we get a waveform uh, between the signal and the time okay the x axis is the time axis okay a vertical uh, deflection plate is applied by the input signal that we want to analyze on this screen so this deflection plate system allows the movement of this electron beam as per the shape of this signal applied and we see this uh, shape on this screen okay we will see here how uh, how the each uh, block of this uh, cro works what is the function of each block here and this highly accelerating uh, electron beam reaches on this phosphor screen this is sensitive to the electrons and it produces a luminance where it collides on the screen and uh, this screen is made of a phosphor and a luminous spot is seen wherever it strikes on this screen so you can observe the shape of this waveform and another things like uh, uh, frequency and phase and from frequency you can get the time period also so these can be analyzed the shape of waveform can be analyzed here on the screen now we will see what is the purpose of all these uh, blocks here so this is the vertical amplifier so the on the vertical amplifier we apply the input signal the input signal to be observed is applied on this vertical deflection plate system this is on the vertical plate and this part is going on to this uh, horizontal deflection plate so we apply the input signal to this vertical amplifier and this vertical amplifier's job is to raise the voltage to a level which is required which is enough uh, to deflect the electron beam okay and here we apply a delay line but no delay line is applied here the purpose of this delay line is you can see here that the output of this vertical amplifier goes at two places to this delay line we do not apply it directly to this vertical deflection plate first we uh, use a delay line here okay and the another part of this uh, vertical amplifier's output goes to this trigger circuit the purpose of delay line is here to produce the delay that is offered by these trigger circuit and time based generator because uh, we want that the signal that we apply here should reach to both of these plates these deflecting plates the uh, vertical deflection plate and horizontal deflection plate at the same time if they do not if the signal don't reach to these deflection plates at the same time then we will see a phase difference there will be a difference in phase of the signal and the correct waveform will not be shown on the screen so it is very important that the signal should reach on both of these deflection plates simultaneously that is at the same time so because of this we apply this delay line so that the delay produced in these uh, time based generator and trigger circuit is compensated or covered by this delay line so we choose the delay time for this equal to these delay produced by these two blocks okay now this after this delay line this signal is applied this uh, input signal is applied to this vertical deflection plates 
and now we will see the purpose of this trigger circuit and time base generator so a trigger circuit is provided for synchronizing these two types of deflections this uh, vertical deflection and horizontal deflection so that the horizontal deflection starts at the same point of the input vertical signal each time it sweeps okay so this is the purpose the synchronizing is the purpose of trigger circuit synchronization between these two kinds of deflections okay and now we will see what is the job of this time based generator as i told you that on the screen we get a graph or waveform between the signal and the time okay and this time on the x axis is uh, produced this time signal on the x axis is produced by this time based generator so in cro this time based generator develops the horizontal sweep voltage okay horizontal sweep voltage that deflects the beam left to right okay left to right which represents the time axis because we need time axis also so that we can analyze it on time the amplitudes with time so it repeats a sawtooth waveform at a rate that determines the time per division on the screen it generates sawtooth waveform sawtooth waveform and it repeats sawtooth waveform at a rate that determines the time per division on the screen so this time based generator produces the time base that's why it is known as time base generator and this is used for synchronizing these two kinds of deflections because we want these signals should appear at the same time on both of these plates so that no phase difference is seen in the signal now this horizontal amplifier is used to provide to raise the uh, voltage to a level that is enough for deflecting this horizontally de deflecting this high accelerating electron beam horizontally so uh this let's discuss this part this is the high volt supply we use two voltage supplies here high voltage and low voltage so to the cathode ray tube this is the cathode ray tube this whole system is the cathode ray tube to this cathode ray tube we apply high voltage and low voltage is applied to all other circuits except this because we need very high voltage to accelerate this electron beam that's why high voltage supply is used in this cathode ray tube okay so this was the basic structure and the functioning of the cathode ray tube we also discussed here some applications of cathode ray tube that uh, we can use the cro for the measurement of voltage current frequency and phase and we can analyze the waveform in different ways so did you get the concept so in the next video we will discuss other uh, instruments electronic instruments in detail so keep watching my channel engineering made easy and if you have not subscribed it yet then please consider subscribing engineering made easy thanks for watching till then bye bye friends for more such videos you can subscribe my channel engineering made easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information you can visit my blog see you soon in the next video till then bye bye